The question that Jesus is asked in the gospel text of today contains the great commandment. At the time of Jesus, the Jews had 365 positive precepts or commands and 248 prohibitions. So, the question is a loaded question. There are 365 and there are 248. Which of these now is the greatest of all? And then Moses had given the people in the Old Testament the Ten Commandments. So the question is not easy for Jesus to respond to. However, Jesus is aware of his own self, he is aware of others, and he is also aware of the law. And in classic style, that was only possible for Jesus, he reduces all these 365 positive laws and the 248 prohibitions and the 10 commandments of Moses and reduces them to one. And that one commandment is to love God and to love one's neighbor both unconditionally. So even though it is mentioned that the second is like the first, on further reflection and on deep analysis, it shows that Jesus is really talking about one commandment, that is, love of God, which is shown in love of neighbor. In his first letter, the evangelist John in chapter 4, verse 20 says, that if someone says that he or she loves God, and cannot love his brother or her brother or sister, that person is a liar. Because he says it's impossible for you to love God whom you cannot see and not love your brother or sister whom you can see. Somebody said tug in cheek that the reason why Jesus said love your neighbor and love your enemy is because often our neighbor and our enemy are the same. The point is that our love for God cannot be shown except in our love for each other. Our love for God cannot be made tangible except when I express it in my love for others. If I love others as much as I say I love God, then I am on the right track. I am following the commandments. Every single religion in the world speaks about this. Every single religion in the world talks about love. And so the challenge is, can I show my love tangibly and really? Can I show my love in action? Because if I do, then I'm living out the one commandment of loving God and loving my neighbor. More importantly, I am loving God by loving my neighbor. How will you show your love for God tangibly in one action of love today?